Which pen would you use between a sailor, a pilot, and a platinum? We're gonna have Ember. My cousin. Day three. I hope you find this a good idea. I checked some real. Day three at the store. It looks like I'm living my life in here. Did I even slept here? Who knows? Is this maybe the biggest dilemma we're gonna have ever? I mean, we know how much Japanese pen with 14 karat are already great brighter, but now we'll have to choose which is the best. I'm not gonna choose, you're gonna choose, you're gonna let me know down in the comments. We're gonna test a Sailor Professional Gear 14 karat b -nip, a Pilot Custom 74 b -nip, and a Platinum Sentry 3776 been it. All three 14 karat. I'm really wondering about trying all of these and feel them. We're also gonna have a look at the design just that I can give a little comment and opinion on it and then I'm really wondering to know what you think is the best Japanese pen in this segment and which one you would go for. Let's start. We're gonna start with the Sailor Professional Gear. This is the Professional Gear 1. Personally, small. It's not a size that I like. Probably the 1911 of Sailor is a better size. In my own opinion, a bit too similar to a Mont Blanc. That's why I prefer to stick to a Professional Gear. I would probably go for a 21 carat, but at this price point, I mean, we're talking something between 160 and 200 US dollar for a 14 carat gold nib. So it's a perfect daily rider. It's a perfect fountain pen to start with and it actually writes very well. Now, this is the gold edition. Now, I think what's very interesting about these three pen is they're pretty similar one to each other. I mean, the, the pile and the platinum are actually really, really similar. Uh, really, really similar. But I have to say that the clip makes a big difference. Also, the proportions of the pen make a big difference. And, you know, at the end of the day, you can distinguish them. But just to say, you know, the design part is not like extraordinary. I mean, if we take, for example, the Sailor and the Pilot, they have the same kind of, you know, design details of the rings. If then we take the Pilot and the Platinum, they have the same shape overall. They also both have a ring um, on the cap and then another ring on the bottom of the barrel. So, you know, in terms of design, it's a bit like, probably it's like a Japanese kind of taste. That's why they go a bit in the same direction. Anyway, let's start. Sailor Professional Gear, 14 karat gold nib. Uh, as I told you, a bit too small, so I would definitely cap it. When I cap it, then the size becomes actually pretty reasonable. We're gonna ink it up and discover together how it feels. Okay, what I can tell you is, first of all, you hear the nib. I mean, it's it has a bit uh, of scratch, but you know, that's a bit the characteristic of the Japanese nibs. You gotta feel them, you gotta hear them. And I personally really like it because also this nib doesn't have almost any flexibility. So it's pretty stiff. Uh, it's also not a very big nib. And what I really, really like is how wet it is when you write. So the ink flow is very, very good. For me, a minus remains the size. I mean, I don't feel like I have something like extraordinary minus, but that's my personal perception. I sell a lot of these and a lot of people are very happy. Some people even choose the 40 carat over the 21 carat nib. Some people actually prefer it, but yeah, that's that's a bit my, my perception. Let's. Also, I always do a signature. Okay, great rider. Great rider indeed. Then, we'll go to the Pilot Custom 74. 
Actually, I have to admit, I have this one and I even have it as a B nib. So, you know, I kind of know how it feels, but let's see, let's feel it. So here, size is great. I mean, I already feel like I have a bigger pen in my hand. And then what I also like very much is the converter on the Pilot, which is a push mechanism. So you push and it fills the ink up and it's a demonstrator. So it's a great demonstrator, pretty cool. I love it, I use it a lot. So definitely smoother. You feel um, less grip on paper. It's also a bit broader when you write with it. But very interesting. I like the design, although this is a pen I can totally suggest. As I told you, here we are at around, you know, depends on the market and uh, pricings could be better, could be more precise and a bit more the same everywhere. But here we are at around 160 to 200 US dollar. For the pilot, I think we're moving at around the same prices. Uh, here in Switzerland, it's 260, but I know that it can go from 180 dollars in the US. So I think a very good price and definitely also very good pen uh, to go for. By the way, before we go on to the platinum, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now. Maybe you've watched the last videos, but you forgot to subscribe. So this is the moment. Go hit the subscribe button and also please leave a like to the video because it's a big help and you know i'm just happy if you do so platinum i'm kind of in love with this one they're all not so heavy we're also gonna weigh them this is the one that gives me the most feeling of like proper pen you know it's almost like when you don't take it in hand it could be like in the series of a master strip in terms of quality then when you pick it up you understand that the master strip is another kind of feeling and another kind of finishing it's a resin pen totally black yes gold metal trims it has this very cool nib which you guys know i already told you i really really like i told you like Three videos ago when I picked five pens from my store. 14 carat B nib, beautiful shape, beautiful feed, definitely a pen I really really like. Cap it? No, I wouldn't cap it this. I wouldn't cap this one. So we're gonna ink it and see how it feels. No flexibility at all. Very precise nib. For such a stiff nib, I would prefer a heavier body because it's so stiff, so I want to feel the grip on paper while I'm writing, so a heavier body would make it easier and would make my writing easier. I can imagine that long writing sessions with this one uh, might hurt a bit your hand at some point. We'll look at the little detail, this little heart-shaped hole in the middle of the nib. How beautiful. Let's go with the signature. The pilot for a signature was definitely the best one. Probably also because it's the broader, uh, it's the broader one. Let's do something else. Let's compare a bit. This is the sailor. The line of the sailor. This is the line of a pilot a bit thicker and this is a straight line of a platinum yeah they're pretty much in the same range now let's do one more thing see it's this horizontal line that scratches a little bit more with the final step of the smoother 
vacuum, it's very stiff. Overall, three great fans. I won't tell you which one I would pick at the moment. I told you this one I already have. The Sailor, I know since a long time, I had a lot of this. Platinum is something new too. New is often very cool. Don't forget to comment, go comment right now, now that you're listening, which one of these three would you go for? Or maybe you have already one, you're very happy with it. Share your experience. I'm really wondering about hearing your opinions and hearing how you use these beautiful fountain pens and what your feelings and experiences are. And I'm sure that the other users and subscribers are also really, really wondering. Now, we're going to weight them. That's my new perversion, weighting pens. Sailor Professional Gear, 17.33 grams. Compare it to the Montegrappa we saw yesterday, which were at 49 or something like this. This is half of the weight. I told you yesterday I like heavy, heavy pen. This is not a heavy pen. Then, we add the cap. Nine point forty-nine. The Montegrappa was twenty-eight. Big, big difference. Then the Pilot, Pilot Custom seventy-four. Twenty-two. For having such a bigger size, it's not that much of a difference. I mean, I would have expected this one to be at least like twenty-six grams, but we're at twenty-two point four eight. Without the cap, let's see how much it loses. 40.56. So again, we're at about five grams more than Shogir, which is a big difference, you know, when we're talking about nine or 15, that's almost double. Now, Platinum Century, let's see. 20.44, I didn't expect that. So, the Platinum is, has less weight than the pilot. 20.47, two grams less. Without the cap, I don't expect to have much, much weight. Let's see. 9.95, guys, like the, like the sailor, like the sailor. The same, 9.47, 9.95. So it's half a gram. It has half a gram more than the professional gear. By the way, guys, this thing of the weight is just to give you an idea, since not here, you're not here at the store, um, of how it feels, how heavy these pens are. Maybe you have a pen at home, you can compare it and you can get yourself an idea. I don't want to get nerdy or like very technical, but I think it's cool to understand what's the difference between this one and a Caran d'Ache and a Mont Blanc. So that's the whole idea about using the scale with the pen. And it's something I really, I personally really like. It also gives me a bit of a perception on, um, you know, what the difference might be and also to understand why it has this kind of difference. Accountant has arrived. We're checking some stuff for the pen game changer. He's not only the accountant, he's also, unfortunately, my cousin. Since more since 30 years and we're checking some stuff for the pen game changer He's teaching me some accountancy stuff so that I don't do big mess. What you think about am I gonna do a mess? Absolutely not. I can't right? Possible. I, I'm I'm not allowed to do any mess and any mistakes. I was long thinking what we should do with the style of Zug channel and you know, I talked with uh, our, my collaborator here and we were having the several ideas and then I decided I want to do something very structured and clear and linear. So what we're going to do on the Style of Zug YouTube channel in the future is actually to do reviews where we really talk about the weight, about the size, about the ink capacity in a very structured way. It's always going to be almost the same video always with the same kind of information, obviously then depending on the pen itself. So what kind of features and peculiarities the pen itself has. But for me, the idea of those videos is if you want to know about the Meisterstück, you'll go on that video and you'll have all information you'd wish for, even if you're not in a physical store and don't have the chance to have the pen in hand. So I hope you find this a good idea. Maybe you can also leave a comment and let me know if you think that would be a good thing.
This was a bit more of an administration day today for me. I checked some invoices, I checked some uh, financial stuff, I checked some reports, I checked some statistics to see where the store is going. In the video we're gonna have tomorrow, I'm gonna do the Q&A. Now, before I finish here at the store, I have 11 people coming here at Style of Sue, uh, and I'm gonna explain them what we're doing with the pen industry, where we're headed, what we're trying to communicate with the pen, and what a writing instrument means to us, and how we want it to be perceived by the public and by the people and also by the younger generation. So I can't wait to, to get them here. I'm not gonna film them because of the privacy, but you see, everything is ready. Champagne is in there, ready, ready to go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe and to hit the like button. Don't forget that, please don't forget. And don't forget also another thing, guys, that together we are changing the game. <laughs>